<laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, uh, we appreciate you being here today, and um, you know, notwithstanding the intensity of the questions today, they're very important because we get the same intensity when I go in one of my district where the glowing uh, poll numbers on BLM and parks isn't the same as the people that live next to them when they're subject to burning forest, wolf introduction, mountain lions, and all this other stuff they have to live with next door to and uh, have getting after their livestock, their pets, and even their families. So it's a little bit different when you live next to these areas as it is in the cities that they get the polling information from. So that said, the, um, I do appreciate you coming here and asking the hard questions as we have to in our districts. Um, for years, there's been an effort to address water supply issues in the Klamath. Uh, we've worked many hours with folks up and down the, the region who are impacted by this situation as well as my colleague, Mr. Walden, who's here today, offered a draft bill that I think would have really gone a long ways towards to resolving these issues and providing a water supply certainty to those folks in the region. So now what we have is uh, a pressing forward of the dam removal. So what I have here is a copy of an agreement in principle that you just signed this last month in which the Department of the Interior agrees to work with California, Oregon, Pacific Corps to create a so-called non-federal entity this is to engage in removal of the four dams. This agreement focuses on dam removal alone, leaving the water supply of the issues of the basin unresolved. Um, and they're doing so without the approval of Congress or consultation. So is this non-federal entity you agree to create open, subject to Open Government and Freedom of Information Act requests? And since my time is short, I'll ask you for a compact answer along the yes or no lines. Uh, the non-federal entity has not yet been formed yet. Uh, Subject to freedom of information it, or open government. It'll be depend on how it's structured. I don't know the answer to your question right now. Well, there's a federal involvement here with uh, your agency and others. We, it, will, it'll, it will be a non-federal entity uh, formed by the states of California and Oregon. But your signers on the agreement. The agreement in principle, which will include provisions to create this non-federal entity by the states of California and Oregon. Okay, well this seems like a front company for in, in a, a process to avoid public scrutiny. My own staff had to work pretty hard to get involved in the Sacramento meeting and uh, we asked to be part of one that's going on in Portland today and they didn't get back to us but they will be there anyway. So that sounds like a no to me because uh, there doesn't seem to be the opportunity for open, open government freedom of information. Okay, I have another document here. It's the confidential settlement communication discussion draft which was uh, circulated at that meeting I mentioned last week in Sacramento. This document specified that the non-federal entity was to be created yesterday, due yesterday. Was there a signature made by your office yesterday on this creation of the entity? Was uh, The target date was February 29th. No signature by our, our office. Okay, very good. Um, this was just a month again after the first document, the AIP. And uh, did Congress authorize the administration to create a non-federal entity? The administration is not creating a non-federal entity. Congress uh, hasn't authorized it. It's not a creation of the administration. It's a creation by the states of California and Oregon as contemplated by the agreement in principle. The whole premise here is there has been a desire to have the federal government re removed from the dam removal, removal process. I understand that that was an issue uh, that was one of the reasons why the uh, Klamath Basin Restoration Agreement uh, legislation was not enacted. Well, these are administrative goals. Now we are goals. taking the federal government out of the dam removal process. These are administration goals here, and now here's administration involvement, including this being a budget hearing that there's going to be, unless you're doing it pro bono, but it's going to have impacts on your budget as well. So the very fact you're involved and signed in the agreement indicates that we are spending federal dollars in this process. Is this, is this a pro bono process? Uh, there has been significant environmental analysis done on the question of dam removal uh, and the Bureau of Reclamation. No, but are you spending money from your agency towards this effort? Towards the environmental analysis associated with the, the dam answer would have yes. to be yes, because you're spending your time, you're spending agency hours and staff people. Yes, that is, that is correct, Congressman. Okay, so the field they, they don't feel it's an important that they need authorization from Congress to participate in this project, even though we're supposed to budget for it. There is federal authorization for dam removal through the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, and that is the process of the proceeding will go through the Federal Ener Energy but Regulatory Commission. the process commission. of creating a non-federal entity, a, uh, a shell corporation, basically? 
that is not part of the FERC regulatory process. That's a creation of the, by the states of California and Oregon. I'm out of time, Mr. Chairman.